AXA, a global leader in insurance and asset management, reports 2016 half-year results. Thomas Burbell, welcome. Thank you very much, Adrian. Very nice to be with you today. You are the incoming CEO of AXA. What are the highlights of these first half results? So the results are very resilient despite the headwinds that we had. If you remember, the uh, environment was not easy. Interest rates have gone down after Brexit. Markets have been more volatile and we have far more natural catastrophes than last year. However, we have really produced very good results. Underlying earnings of 3.1 billion, a net income increase of 4% and a solvency of 197 well within our target range. If we look at the different businesses, you see that they're very well advanced and well balanced. On the life and savings side, given the difficult interest rate environment, we have really moved our growth on health and protection and capital light products. On the PNC side, we have shown a very nice growth, 3% in commercial lines and 4% on the retail lines. In asset management, we have continued our momentum, 19 billion of net flows. This shows in general that our strategy is the right one and we can produce good results in a difficult environment. So the strategy we have launched on the 21st of June is suited for this environment and we will have success. You'll become the new CEO as of September 1st. How do you want to drive the group forward in this adverse environment? On the 21st of June, we have released a clear strategy that focuses on what's in our hands. Because in a very difficult capital market environment, we really need to see how can we focus to deliver better earnings and how can we transform the group at the same time. Focus really is about how do we increase our technical margins, how do we work on our efficiency, how do we selectively grow, particularly in products like the health business, like the capital light business, and how do we leverage our capabilities on the digital side. And therefore, I'm extremely proud that we have managed to sign a memorandum of understanding with Alibaba last week. This is very well in line with all the other partnerships that we have already with LinkedIn, Blablacar, Facebook and Jumia in Africa. Transform is the next step. We need to look in the future. Customers are changing. Their habits are changing. We want to be at the forefront. We want to deliver a new customer experience and we want to be very close to the best practice example in digital. That means that we need to change our relationship to our customer. We need to become from a payer to a partner. This means that we need to use data also more in the interest of the customer, obviously highly aligned to our ethics standards in data. It is very important that we go this journey because this will make us the winner of tomorrow. Let's not forget, in everything we do, we need to put the customer first. What does this transformation mean for the teams of AXA? It is an important time for the team. And what I would say to the teams is, this transformation is a huge opportunity and we can only do this together. In the last couple of months, I had the privilege of visiting many AXA entities. And by talking to the teams, I saw that the answers are there. Together, we will make it. Transformation is a big opportunity for all of us. We can learn new things because digital will demand new capabilities and it will enable us to spend more time to serve our customers. Digital and the whole transformation will also have a big impact on society and our teams will feel that impact. We have decided to get out of coal-related investment. We have also decided to stay away from tobacco-related investment. Two big decisions that will impact the environment and the health. I'm extremely proud to be part of this transformation of AXA into the future. And I'm so happy to see that we help every day our customer, that we really give everything to do the best for our customers. And I would really like to thank all of our teams that they dedicate all of their time, all of their energy to our customers every day in and out. Thank you. Thomas Buberl, incoming CEO of AXA, thank you very much.
Thank you, Adrian.